In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an audio spectrum effect inside of Adobe After Effects and have your music react to it. So let's get into it. So to begin with, you first want to make sure you actually have some music inside of After Effects. So as you can see, I've just got this track sitting on my timeline. So from here, we just need to go ahead and create a new solid. So layer, new solid, press OK on this. This can be black, this can be colored, whatever you want to do with this. Then we are just going to turn on the proportional grid, select this box up here. It might look like the rectangle tool. It might be a circle, whatever you've used last. I'm just going to select the ellipse tool. Then I'm just going to draw out a circle. Now, as you can see, that's not exactly perfect. That is more of an ellipse than a circle. So if you wanted to create a perfect circle, hold down shift and then draw out your circle and that will create that perfect circle for you. Then I'm just going to center mine up to make sure it's in the very middle. And then before we move on, we just need to create a mask around the outside of this, just because if we don't, it's going to crop in on the edges and any parts of the waveform might start to disappear. So I'm just going to draw this big circle mask. We can forget about this but that's just going to help to prevent us from losing any part of that spectrum. Now from there, we're going to go into effects and presets and search for audio spectrum. So it's not audio waveform. We're looking for audio spectrum. We're going to drop that onto that solid and in audio spectrum, we want to go audio layer, select the video. Then you want to go to path and you want to select this smaller circle rather than the big circle. So that would be mask one in my example. And when we play this back, you'll notice it's already doing something. Now, unfortunately, my computer's been a bit slow today, so I'm just going to pull the quality down to third so that I can play this back. And there you go. You can see it's doing it, but it's not exactly the most dynamic animation in the world. So you can see the majority of my action is happening here. So I'm actually just going to eliminate all of these frequencies because they're not really giving me a readout. So I'll go to end frequency and I'm just going to pull that down until our frequency is filled. There we go. So the stuff happening pretty much all the way around. Now you can increase or decrease the frequency bands. So if we increase the frequency band, you can see you end up with this effect, which is what a lot of people online tend to have, or you can have it quite small. It's completely up to you, but I like to have that a bit thicker. So that's already looking really good so far. Now, if you wanted to, you could go into audio duration and you can pull this down. So you can pull this down to 30 milliseconds. That would change the look of that. Or you can pull that all the way up to, let's say 200. And that's going to affect it like this. So again, that's your call, but I quite liked it where it was. So somewhere around 70, 80. I think that looks quite dynamic. Now from here, you can go into inside color and we can change this. So I'm going to go for a nice blue and then on the outside color, I do quite like that pink because it's creating a nice purple, but I just want to make this pop a bit more. And that's what we have. Now, if you wanted to only have the animation on the outside, so rather than inside and outside, you would just change the side options to side B and that would now just appear on the outside. Or the opposite, if you wanted it just on the inside, you would select side A. But I do quite like it on both, so I'm going to keep side A and B. And that is how that looks. Now that is pretty much everything created in this specific effect. So I'm just going to add a nice glow to this. So I go into effects and presets. Search for glow and drop glow onto black solid Two. Now in here, I'm just going to increase the glow radius to a much higher number. And then I'll just pull the glow threshold up just so we've got a nice subtle glow. Now, the great thing is because we've done this and because we've created this on a mask, if we created a new mask on the black solid, so we'll go for a triangle in this example. If we just create that triangle and then we go into the effect. So we've got effects, audio spectrum. We can change the path to path or mask three, and it's now going to animate on a triangle. And the same thing goes for every other shape. We can create any shape that we like using the pencil or by using the rectangle or ellipse mask. And that is going to then animate on that custom path. So it's a really powerful effect, but there you go. If you enjoyed this video, then please click subscribe or maybe check out that video.